sold her to a traditional healer. Justin Smith. I've stitched this video for a few reasons, but the important one being to try and explain the difference between Abatagati witches and Izangoma Sangomas. We are all called traditional healers because that's the term that was used from back then. Namangazi, but it was there. But if you break down the word healer, healing, that's healing. How can you heal using human body parts? You can't. That makes you a witch. Number one. Number two, I'm stitching this video because, yes, I am a South African. Two, I am a mother. And three, I am a Sangoma and a proud Sangoma. I am a healer. Not everyone that is a Sangoma is a witch. And you cannot possibly be. It's just that it's an easy word that's used because people can't tell the difference. And with the way society is and other cultures and races, they just throw everyone in one pot and call us all traditional healers, but we are not. Once you are a witch, you may have started your journey as a healer but then somewhere out there, you got caught up in the dark world and, 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 and you become a witch. Um, target. And those are two different things. Once you go black to the dark side, you cannot come back and heal. So people that use body parts who do all these evil things are definitely not Izangoma and do not deserve to be called Izangoma. They are witches, and that's what it is. So I think before I can see this, I fear the war that's going to come in South Africa caused by this whole misunderstanding of the definition of Izangoma, traditional healers, who's a healer, who's a witch, and whatever. I fear what's going to happen to people like us who are healers, Izangoma. It is very important, I beg of every South African that is watching this, to understand the difference just like in any other industry doctors medical doctors that do wrong things they are all called doctors but i don't think there is a name that d differentiates them from the bad doctors but with healing traditional healing there is and it's known by most people who to you are a sangoma you heal or you are a witch and you cannot mix the two it's just that in the past because we all went and initiated, we all dress the same. But when you become a witch, you don't deserve to be wearing beads and the, 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 the amapai, the regays. You don't. Because this is for healing. That's how you represent yourself. So I fear what's going to happen to us. Do we now take our beads off and hide who we are in the fear of our lives? Because this is going to be war. I don't want to be walking out there and next thing I'm being attacked by other races just because I'm a Sangoma, I'm a traditional healer. And this is going to cause this big, big racial war. Ngekela, I plead with you guys, please, please, please try and understand the difference between Sangoma and witches and who uses body parts. And here's an important thing that you need to know. We don't understand the circumstances of why Jocelyn's mom and her boyfriend did what they did. And let me tell you, not all traditional healers are South African. It's a term that's used worldwide for anybody that heals with traditional medicine. It's not only South African. You could get someone who is not South African from outside of South Africa that is doing these witch things and whatever. It could be anyone. But just because they're South African and they probably, you know, then it makes them South African and we're all thrown in one pot. And do you blame the witch who approached Jocelyn's mom? Or is it Jocelyn's mom that went and said, hey, you know, what can I get for this? So there's so many pieces of the story that are just not making sense. 
but I just fear how not everybody's jumping to the whole thing of Isangoma, traditional healers, and this and that and that. Like, I know even doing this video, I'm throwing myself out there, but it's only pleading, and my heart is shattered. Ngoba, I am a South African, I am a mother, and I am a Sangoma. I heal, I can only heal. Once you go on the dark, you can never be considered a healer. You cannot even call yourself a healer. But like with any crime that's committed, everybody will hide under whatever brand that or name that they feel society will accept. Those who know the truth know the truth. And we need to stand up for ourselves because how I cannot use body parts to do what? I heal with only herbs, plants, that's what we heal with as Izangoma. But witches on the other side, witches have been there from times like from donkey years. The movies we watch with the Romans and this and that, they were witches. This thing has always been there. But we need to understand the difference between who uses body parts. I plead with you, South Africans. I plead with you. Um, let's not make this a racial thing. Let's not make this a traditional thing traditional healing thing let's understand first the difference and by this i hope no one is misinterpreting me and thinking i am defending what has happened yes the mom does need to be punished and yes i do hope there is a hell for these people and <laughs> yeah i honestly pray for any other parent that is thinking of doing the same thing you cannot you cannot. You're definitely not a mother doing that. And your God needs to deal with you. Your angels, your guides, they need to deal with you. A child is a gift, a blessing. So how, as a parent, do you even do that? How? <sighs> Thank you for lending me your ears. And I really do hope it falls on the right ears. And again, my heart is shattered. And I plead with people to understand the difference or well, this is going to hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is solo please so don't forget to subscribe comment like and of course do share this video so a south african sangoma has expressed her fears of a public backlash following the disappearance of soldata bay girl jocelyn smith she is also using the strategy to educate the public about the difference between a traditional healers and witches you guys now, Lindy Wemabuza shared her concerns in a video posted there on TikTok. Jocelyn is alleged to have been sold for the purposes of Muti. Now, this is all according to the citizen. Four people, including Jocelyn's mother, Kelly, will appear in the Friedenberg Magistrate Court this week on charges of kidnapping and um, trafficking. Now, in a TikTok video, Lindy Wemabuza of Johannesburg shared her concern for her safety safety amid Jocelyn Smith's disappearance. Mabuza is a traditional healer or a sangoma, however she claims the term is not to be confused with a witch. She said not everyone that is a sangoma is a witch. Once you are a witch, you may have started your journey as a healer, but then somewhere out there you get you get caught up in the dark world, a witch or umtakati. Once you go to the dark side, you cannot come back and heal. So people who use body parts and do evil things do not deserve to be called isangomas. She added, I heal only with herbs and plants, not a body parts. Mabuza, who is also a mother, shared that healers and witches are both initiated and dressed similarly, including wearing beads, which may also cause confusion. She continued, do we now take our beads off and live in fear for our lives? I feel the war that's going to come is caused by this whole misunderstanding about who is a witch and who is a healer. I feel for what is going to happen to people like us. I do not want to be attacked just because I am a Sangoma and a traditional healer. This is going to cause a big racial war. Appealing to the public, she added, please try and understand the difference between a Sangoma and witches who uses body parts.
She also spoke on Jocelyn Smith's disappearance. Mabuza added, I am a mother and I am a Sangoma. My heart is shattered. The mom does not need, does need to be punished. And I hope there is hell for these people. I pray for any other parent who is thinking of doing the same thing. You cannot. A child is a gift. A child is a blessing. Now, you guys, meanwhile, the husband of Pimza Sigatra, the lady in red at the Friedenberg Magistrate Court, has denied reports that she is a Sangoma who bought missing Jocelyn Smith from her mother, Kelly, and boyfriend, Jaquen Apollos or Bitta. Now, speaking to a publication called IOL, Slinda Gutle Bagameva ravaged the rumors that she is a Sangoma. On social media, rumors that Kelly instructed Buddha and Stefano to sell little Jocelyn Sustata have been a talking point. He told the publication IOL and said, My wife has nothing to do with this case. She is not friends with Kelly. She isn't a Sangoma and have never been one. She was never arrested for anything. Well, there you have it, guys. What are your thoughts? Please do share them with me in the comment section. And of course, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet done so, so that you don't miss out whenever I upload a new video. And also, please do make sure that you share this video so that it reaches a lot of people. Thank you so much for actually clicking and deciding to watch this video. I truly appreciate it, guys. I will definitely see you on the next one. Bye.